Welcome to the Bible Forum. Do you know a fellow by the name of Bill Johnson? Bill Johnson pastors a church in Redding, California. He's big in the New Apostolic Reformation. He may be, uh, I think he's a, uh, an, uh, an apostle, but I'm not sure. He's charismatic. Charismatic in probably the most extreme and exotic way. He has pioneered a number of crazy expressions of what he knows as Christianity. Not what the Bible knows of Christianity, what he knows. And his success in how it makes people feel and in the success they seem to have with seeing people saved and growing in the Lord. However, it's in how they're expressing both their salvation and their spiritual growth that leaves a lot to be desired. One of their newest discoveries, creations, is something they're calling sozo, S-O-Z-O. It's a Greek word. It's the Greek word for salvation. But it's how they express it in practice that is so strange because it is so far from anything you know about salvation. It is a psycho-spiritual means of deliverance and of inner healing. And as such, it is quite pagan and potentially dangerous spiritually. If you know anybody, who's dabbling with this sort of thing, they need to check it out. Look at it a little closer. As it is explained, this psycho-spiritual experience has the power to deliver you from spiritual oppression and effect inner healing. And we're not talking about uh, ridding the body of demons through some sort of human technique. That's called exorcism. And exorcism is not a Bible idea either. It's pagan. It's demonic. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's all about the ritual. A person who is truly saved doesn't need exorcism. They have the Holy Spirit indwelling them. And where the Holy Spirit is, no unholy spirit is able to reside. It's a simple equation. The exorcists and others ignore that basic Bible doctrine in order to create their new realities, realities that put them at the focal point, not God. I am rambling. This technique, sozo, came out of the Bethel Church, invented by New Apostolic Reformation Apostle Bill Johnson himself. The Bethel Sozo website says, Sozo will heal your broken connection with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit so that you can walk in the destiny to which you have been called and reach your potential. Now, that's a whole lot better than what any other pastor's offering out there. I can tell you. They're just offering you the option of repenting and believing on the Lord Jesus Christ and having your sins forgiven and having your name written down in heaven, reserving a place for you. This is so much bigger. Well, during the Sozo sessions, the counselees, they call them, Note, that's not a Bible term. Receive help opening their minds to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Did you hear it? Opening your mind. What does that mean? It's probably meditation. And you very well may be opening it to something other than God. When you open your mind up to a spirit, any spirit, you don't know which one you're going to get. 
And I'm not sure your mind is what God fills with your Holy Spirit, with his Holy Spirit. He might cleanse your mind. But the Bible says he fills you, your heart. Now, this they may be told that they have the spirit of Jezebel, or they have a squid spirit, or some other creature or demon living inside of them. In some cases, we're talking about people who have professed Christ. As far as they're concerned, they're saved, but they still have all this going on. And once the demons are exercised, then the spirit-filled minds are healed, the broken connection to God is restored, and they can now walk in the Spirit of God. It's powerful stuff. Furthermore, sozo counselors are taught to guide their clients, called sozies, through five doors and a father ladder concept. The five doors through which demonic demons are able to make some entry are in our brains. The five doors are hatred, sexual sin, the occult, which Sozo actually is, uh, thievery, and fear. And what these people are doing is called recovered memory therapy, a technique that was popular 25 years ago until people started ending up in court and in jail for doing it. In one victim's testimony, Bill Johnson or his people labeled her as a child molester. How? Well, a woman, a young adult female, was guided through a sozo session where she recovered a memory, a memory of her mother sexually molesting her from the time she was three until she was 13. The mother and the girl's siblings know that none of this is true, and it has destroyed this family. And the mother's efforts to contact Bill Johnson are totally futile. The mother was actually encouraged to come to their counseling center for counseling herself on this thing. The attorneys she contacted were surprised that anyone is still doing this. It's a form of hypnotherapy, getting the victim to empty their mind of all conscious thought by means of various techniques. The hypnotist does it with ease on TV. You've seen it. They do it with all sorts of people. Now, they'll tell you you can't hypnotize somebody don't want to be hypnotized. But they'll line up five people on television, and in a very short order, they'll just walk by each one, and they're all under hypnosis. And they give these people some sort of instruction. When you hear this, you're going to quack like a duck or something of that nature. And when they snap out of it, they come out, they go through the thing, and they're walking around, and somebody, you know, quacks like a duck, they start doing this. And they bark like a dog, or whatever it is they've been programmed to do. Why? They can't distinguish between their own thoughts, their own will, and the thought that was implanted. Hypnotism is not a parlor game, it's dangerous. The charismatic community has played with this for decades. they got a number of different names and techniques, but it's always the same. Clear out all conscious thought. Focus only on me, what I'm doing, or on this or that. Zone out, meaning you shut down your mental, spiritual protections and allow another mind to give you a thought, a task, a memory. And when you awake, you're going to feel so much better. Only whatever memory or instruction you, was implanted is now your reality. And it will be yours. And no one was ever going to be able to convince you otherwise. This is not fun and games. And now it's being used in a church and it's being called godly. 
Welcome to the 21st century religiosity. It's being called Christianity, but it's more demonic than it is anything else. And we all need to be careful. This charismatic thing runs the gamut from the harmless, just silly kind of whatever, to this kind of serious spiritual, physical, emotional damage. And there's no filter. There's no end. We have no idea where these people are going to take us next. And they've got churches in league with Bill Johnson and with his church in California, all over the country. We have one right here in Charleston. Be careful. Not everything that goes bump in the night is Santa Claus.